Hello guys, so I think we covered everything we need to know about our map and we covered all the options and the tools we have right here. Uh, the last thing I will show you right here is that you can create a presentation for your map. So when we click on create presentation, we will have the ability to create a presentation for our map. Very similar to how a PowerPoint slides looks like. So you can use this slides to represent your map. And this tool is really good, especially if you are creating a map that you are planning to represent it to someone. And instead of panning on the map and zoom in and zoom out, it's better to create a presentation so you can just move through the slides. When I open the presentation, now this is how it looks like. It looks very similar to how our web map looks, but on the top here and on the slides, you have different options. So here we are going to create slides based on the data we have. So basically, I will make a slide for each type of data I have, and we will see how we can go through the slides after we finish it. So right now, I will click Add New Slide. I will zoom here, and we'll call this one Freeways. And the location will set to current, so the current extent will be the one for this slide. And I will make sure that I show the freeways and hide all the other layers and the base map you can change the base map as well so here i'll keep the base map as streets and if you want to include the pop-ups in your slide you can enable the pop-up but you have to open one of them so let's say for example this is the freeways and we have a map note here that say there's an accident here so i can click here and say critical issue there is an accident here and i can save my slide including this pop-up by check this option right here and then i say save and that will save the first slide for me now i can say slide list again and i will create another slide and in this slide i will go to san francisco to show the auto theft data so i will zoom in in here and i will show the auto theft i will hide the freeway and the map notes i will hide everything else other than the auto theft and i will call this one san francisco and I'll say set current so I show this extent on my slide and I will say slide list now I have two slides let's add the third one and that will be for the states so let's show the states and hide all the other layers and zoom out to show the entire states and now I will keep my extent like that and I will name it here states and I will say set current extent and I'll go back to the slide list. One of the things I wanted to do but I forgot is to change this one to a different base map because this is auto theft so most likely it happens at night so we can make it look a little bit better and interesting and it change our base map to be street night. So that will make it look a little bit interesting because this is a theft that happens at night most of the time so that looks much better. And let's go back to the slides and the last one we will add the Texas address one which is this one so let's zoom to this location and we will try to locate Texas and one of the things that I didn't like about creating the slides that I cannot zoom into any layer and I cannot change anything of the layers so make sure you do all of your changes before you start creating your presentation so if you are going to create a presentation keep that in mind when you create your layer so you are able to locate your places so here let's search for Travis County here we go and here we can find our location and we cannot see the our points because actually we didn't choose it here so let's select this one and hide this one so here's the points for our map and here's the home addresses and we can change our base map for example to be anything so we can choose like gray canvas and now right now we have our base map change it for us we can set the extent to be like this and here I will call it Travis County and we'll save this slide as this extent and that's enough for this slide I'll say slide list and then now I finished creating my slides you can change the order of the slides by holding the slide and move it up or down you can change the order for the slides and you can choose to show or hide a certain slide based off if you want to show it in your slides when you play it or not so now we finished creating the slides here you can delete a slide you can add a slide as we saw and here you can duplicate a slide if you want to make a duplication of any slide select it and then click 
duplicate here you can click undo to undo the changes you did or redo the options here will allow you to set the interval when the slides move so when we click play you will see that the slides is not going to move unless I go to the next one so let's click play and see how our slides will look like without the changing this options uh, I will save the presentation yes uh, it's gonna save the updates and then it's going to open in a slide view so now this is how our presentation look like and you can take this URL and you can take it and send it to anyone or you can use it for your presentation you don't have to open the presentation and click play you can just copy this URL so for example if you have a real PowerPoint presentation and part of your presentation is to open this presentation that represent the map you can add this URL into your PowerPoint and when you get to the point where you want to open this map you can click on this link and it will open this slides for you so as you see here right now we have our first slide so I'm going to act like I'm, I'm doing a presentation here so this is our freeways uh, and we added this layer and we show the freeways of Southern California and we made a color theme for each a freeway based on the freeway name and in the next slide here we added a feature service from ArcGIS online that represents the auto theft that happened in San Francisco between 2016 and 2007 and this is the data showing the auto theft that happened in that time only on Sundays so this is the data that happened in 2017 on Sundays and as you see here we have much more auto theft accident happened right here so the next slide we have the states and we have a layer that we uploaded as a shapefile from our computer and this layer represents the states of the United States of America and we add it to our content so we can use it in any other maps we want the last slide we have here is showing the Texas address layer that we used several times in ArcGIS desktop and ArcGIS Pro to create the locator and now we add it to our map to show how can we add it as a text file or CSV file on ArcGIS online map and we can use it right here. So I hope you enjoyed this quick presentation and if you want to jump from one slide to another you can just click on this. Uh, option right here and you can move from one slide to another in case you have a lot of slides let's say maybe you have a hundred slide and you want to go from one slide to another so that's how you can show your slides and how you can move from one slide to another so let's close this slide and see what options we can change right here so as you saw when I was doing the presentation I had to click to say go to the next slide go to the next slide right here I have the option to say make my slides move every five seconds every 10 seconds so if I change it every five seconds and I say show the legend on all slides and now I save it and now I play my presentation again you will see that the slides will move automatically every few seconds you can pause it or you can play it from the bottom right here so every five seconds it will move to the next slide automatically so you have to plan your presentation ahead to see how long or how much time you need for each slide to uh, represent it and when it's, once it finished it will repeat itself again and you have the legend on the top right here you can show it and it will change based on what data is showing on this specific slide if you want to pause you can pause right here and if you want to play you click play again same thing the URL for the slides will be the same because actually this URL is actually showing the map URL which is here so here we have the map and it have an extra parameter showing show the slides start from one so you start from the first slide and you can move to the next slides so this URL for the presentation slides is not going to change unless you delete this map this URL is not gonna work anymore so every presentation have its own map so you have the ability to create a presentation per map and use the URL anywhere if you share this map uh, public so that's it for the presentation now you know how can you enable presentation and how can you create one it's really a good tool to represent your map in a more professional way better than just open the map on a map viewer and just zoom in and out and change the extent or change the layers and view different data you can create a slide for each view you have so that's it for this video and if you have any questions please contact me and let me know thanks